it's time for TTN World Breaking News. Loikrathen Lantern Festival 2022 in Sakhose, Dates and Events Loikrathen one of Thailand's largest festivals and involves releasing floating lanterns called krathens onto lakes and rivers to honor Buddha and the water goddess. Sakhothe is one of the best places to experience the festival because it is the birthplace of the festival and holds the largest celebration, lasting for a number of days and nights. When is Loikrathen 2022 in Sakhothe? The standard calendar date of Loikrathen is not fixed as it depends on the Thai lunar calendar, but it usually falls in November. This year, the actual date of Loikrathen is the 9th of November, 2022, but it will be celebrated in Sakhothe for over 10 days from the 29th of October to the 9th of November. Sakhothe usually starts its celebration several days before the actual day of the festival, so that, after attending Loikrathen in Sakhothe, you have a chance to go to Chiang Mai's Yipeng Festival, another famous Thailand lantern festival with flying lanterns on the 8th of November and 9th for reasons to celebrate Loikrathen in Sakhothe. There are plenty of reasons why you should visit Sakhothe. During Loikrathen. 1. Sakhothe holds the biggest celebration of Loikrathen festival in Thailand, with rich events usually lasting for 10 days. 2. You get the most authentic Loikrathen experience. Sakhothe is where locals are seen more than foreign visitors, and therefore you'd be experiencing more authentic Thainess and bigger touristy cities can offer. 3. Sakhothe has smaller crowds. The most famous places to celebrate Loikrathen are Bangkok and Chiang Mai. Because most travelers head to these cities, Sakhothe has become the best place to celebrate for people who want to avoid the tourist crowds. 4. See floating lanterns surrounded by ancient monuments. All the beautiful temples and monuments of Sakhothe Historical Park once belonged to a great city. And together they make a beautiful 800-year-old backdrop for the floating lanterns and cultural performances. History of Loikrathen in Sakhothe Sakhothe literally translates to Dawn of Happiness and was once its own independent kingdom as well as the formal capital city of Thailand. Sakhothe was established in the year 1238 and for a long time was a wealthy and thriving region. According to the stories and legends of Loi Krathen, the festival began sometime around the 14th century with a woman named Nang Nopimus who was one of the consorts of the king of Sakhothe. The story starts with the members of the royal court and residents of the kingdom celebrating the water goddess on the night of the full moon in the twelfth lunar month, November. To impress the king, Nopimus created an intricate floating raft from banana leaves and flowers. She then set a candle and incense stick in the center and placed it on the water to honor Buddha and the water goddess. When the king saw this, he was so impressed by its beauty that he proclaimed the festival would be celebrated in the same way every year after. Today, the Loikrathen celebrations include a beauty contest where many women compete to earn the title of Nang Nopimus every year. Top Loikrathen events and activities in Sakhothe As the celebrations of Loikrathen in Sakhothe last around a week, there are numerous events and activities you can attend while there. Below we've listed some of the ones that our travelers love the most. The Loikrathen events usually take place over five days and nights with several activities most of which take place in Sakhothe's historical park, the Old City. Highlights of the celebration include, floating of the traditional lanterns, fireworks, folk dancing, and a spectacular light and sound show. 1. Enjoy the light and sound show. The light and sound show is a highlight of Sakhothe's Loikrathen celebrations. It takes place in front of the beautiful Mahata Temple Courtyard. Over 300 talented actors and dancers perform a show based on the history of Sakhothe and the legend of Loikrathen. The show entirely lights up the historical park with its use of projection mapping onto the historical architecture. The performance is in Thai, but foreigners are given access to an English audio version. At the end of the show, the night sky is lit up with an impressive firework show that illuminates the beautiful ruins in bursts of light. If you want to see the show, Tickets are 500 baht. You can purchase them from either the Sakhoth A tourist office or from the ticket booth at the park entrance. 2. Join in the parade. Another highlight of the festival is the long parade. You will see people from all the different districts of Sakhothe. Province in their traditional attire, dancers, musicians, historical figures, the contestants of the beauty contest, lanterns, and crathens. It is a great way to experience Thai culture. Three. See a variety of contests. 
another part of the festival are the contests, beauty contests, singing and dancing contests, and also a contest for the best crethings, floating lanterns. 4. Enjoy plenty. Of live performances there are many live performances around the park. There are several stages for live music, traditional Thai dance, Muay Thai, traditional Thai puppet shows, fur house, juggling, fire eating, etc. 5. Explore Sakhothe Village Market You can explore the Sakhothe Village Market in the park. It is an ancient Thai market set, which would take you back to the old days of the first Thai kingdom, 700 years ago. Quality crafted products and fabrics are put up for sale. 6. Make and release your Krathen One of the best ways to get involved in the celebrations of Loi Krathen and really put your own touch on the ceremony is to make your own floating lantern. During a Krathen making class, you can learn how to fold the banana leaves to make a beautiful lotus shaped Krathen. You can also buy handmade Krathens, between around 10 baht and 300 baht. After the light and sound show on the evening of Loi Krathen, you can head to one of the many lakes and ponds inside the Sakhothe Historical Park to release your floating lantern. Releasing a floating lantern is meant to symbolize releasing all of the negative energy you've gathered over the previous year. Tati. People also believe that Krathans honor the Buddha and the water goddess. Typical day-by-day -day event schedule. The schedule for this year is yet announced. Here is the schedule of 2019 for reference. D1. An arms giving ceremony called the Dawn of Happiness greeting begins at sunrise for locals to offer dry food to monks at the Trabang and Goan Pond. Visitors are also welcome to bring offerings. Day 2. A traditional Thai dance and music show is performed at night inside the Wad Mahachot. This is a great opportunity to enjoy classical Thai drama and have fun watching performers in their traditional costumes and makeup. Day 3. This is when the celebrations start to really pick up inside the park with events happening all day. No matter when you visit you will see dances plays, and martial arts performances. There are also souvenir and food stalls set up at the main entrance of the park that are worth exploring. You can also visit the Night Bazaar, a replica of what a market would have looked like during the time of the Sakhothe Kingdom. Day 4. This is the first night of the light and sound show. Head into the Sakhothe Historical Park to enjoy the intricate dances and performances that will tell the story of Loikrathen in the history of the Sakhothe Kingdom. After the show is over, enjoy the impressive fireworks display. Day 5 Loi Krathen Day. This is the busiest day of events and normally falls on the actual day of Loi Krathen. This day is full of parades, processions, festival activities, a light and sound show, and a large fireworks show. This is also the main day for releasing Krathens inside the historical park. Where to stay in Sakhothe? During Loi Krathen, accommodation can be both hard to find and expensive in Sakhothe. Hotel prices may go up to two to three times the usual. You are recommended to book your accommodation well in advance, especially if you intend to stay in Old Sakhothe near Historical Park. It is worth booking a hotel near the park so that you don't have to endure traffic. Getting to and from Sakhothe. Located approximately halfway between Bangkok and Chiang Mai, Sakhothe is about 425 kilometers, 264 miles, north of Bangkok and 300 kilometers, 186 miles, south of Chiang Mai. There are several ways to get there. You can fly direct from Bangkok with Bangkok Airways in around an hour. It is the fastest option, yet also the most expensive. You can also take a long-distance bus from Bangkok or Chiang Mai, which requires 5 to 7 one half hours. There is no train station in Sakhothe. It is possible to take a train to Fitzmanulok, which is approximately 70 kilometers from Sakhothe, and then a bus onward to Sakhothe. The most convenient way is to book a private door with a private transfer. Contact us if you need any suggestions or assistance. Experience Loikrathen Festival in Sakhothe. We have especially designed several tours, including Loikrathen Festival. Click the following tours for inspiration or tell us your requirements, and we can tailor make a tour for you. Please like. Share. Subscribe. YouTube channel. DTN World. And don't miss for more latest news.